this is a one button solution to your setup. So that's what we have. That is the that is the finished product. You know what? There is zero editing. This is probably going to be the only video that you need to watch on how to screencast your iPad with a face cam using a MacBook. Without any editing, this is what you want to check out. And I'm going to put the links in the description below so everything's easy for you to follow. Go ahead and download OBS. Just if you go to your browser and you type in OBS, OBS, uh, make sure you download the specific one for your MacBook broadcast software and it's going to be for the macbook and then it's going to be this is an apple silicon so just go down to apple silicon and then go ahead and download let's just start downloading i'll put that in the link in the description make sure you go ahead and download obs so that's the only thing that you need the internet for let's open up obs so go to your launch pad this is under my multimedia and go ahead and open obs okay here we are so we've opened up obs but we're going to go ahead and create a new scene all right, so I'm going to go down to here. I'm going to do a new scene. I'm going to go create a new scene. So go ahead and I'm going to call this scene two. And let's go ahead and create this scene. So we need to add elements. We need to add sources to our scene. We're going to add a webcam for the MacBook. We're going to add the iPad for the screencast. And then we're going to use the MacBook's inbuilt microphone. You don't have to do this every time you set up. But once you set up OBS, it's set up forever. And every time you want to connect and make a video, uh, you don't need to do this the scene will be saved anyway so let's go ahead and add first and foremost a video capture device so i'm going to call that face cam that's our face cam and we're going to use the facetime hd camera i.e the webcam and leave that i'm going to leave that on high uh, go ahead and press OK. Right, I've got my webcam, excellent. I need to now set up my screen capture for my iPad, so how do I do that? Now, before you can just go ahead and add the screen capture on your MacBook, you're gonna have to go back to Launchpad, and this time, going back to my multimedia, I'm gonna open up QuickTime Player. Now, you should have this as a default app on your MacBook, so open up your QuickTime Player. This is the point where now I need to plug in my cable, plug in my Mac, to my iPad, okay? So I've plugged in the cable here. I'm gonna plug in the cable to my iPad. And it should pop up and say, do you trust this device? And you say, yeah, I trust this device, I trust this device, and then that's fine. It doesn't seem as if QuickTime Player is open, but if you look at the top here, it does say QuickTime Player. We wanna to go to File, and then you wanna to go to New Movie Recording. Go press New Movie Recording, like this. And then what we need to do is we need to click on this little drop down menu next to the record button. And then we're gonna pick up our iPad. So go look for your iPad, my iPad's right here. And then that's gonna mirror my iPad screen. Okay, give it a second. There we go. Because we're tethered, there is very little latency between the, what the MacBook sees and what's on my iPad. So if I go ahead and open up my application of choice, good notes then I can scribble on this and you can see that there's very little latency. Leave this open, go back to OBS. So let's go back to OBS. Oh, we're gonna add another video capture device. So click, click on the add device to video capture device. And I'm gonna call this iPad screen. And then where it says device, I can go ahead and just select my iPad Pro. There we go. Again, I can set this to high and press on OK. So now, you notice that I've got my iPad screen, but my webcam has disappeared because it's on, a, it's on the bottom layer. So I need to go ahead and drag this to the top layer. This is brilliant. I could go ahead now and resize this, put this on the bottom, um, and hey presto, everything's done. If you wanna stop there, I'm not gonna obviously stop there. I'm gonna just finesse this and sort this out. So first and foremost, the iPad is a four by three aspect ratio, more of a rectangular square type of shape. And my screen and my, you know, my MacBook and my video is gonna be a 16 by nine, it's wide. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply a filter to the iPad screen mirror. You can select it first and then you click on filters and I'm gonna add a effect and I'm gonna go ahead and do scaling and aspect ratio. So go ahead, press scaling aspect ratio. Okay, and then I'm gonna leave this on by cubic and I'm gonna change this one to 16 by nine. Now, of course, it stretches out the screen. It stretches out the screen and by this red line, you can see that it's gone outside of my, my capture area. So I'm just gonna rescale this. There you go, that's good. And now that is the full 
video is going to be this. Now, one thing is, I don't like the fact that my face cam is this rectangular box and it's huge. It's basically taking up a lot of space. Now, I can resize it, fine. I can resize it, but then it becomes tiny as well. And I don't want it tiny. What I want it to be is I want it to be this nice face cam with a circle on it. So we're going to go ahead and create that mask for our circle, okay? This is what I want you to do. Very simple. Go to Launchpad, find your keynotes. Go ahead and open up keynotes, open up a new document, and we're gonna go with a document with a black background, okay? So any one, basic black, and then get rid of the title, get rid of the subtitle, the author and date. What we're gonna do is we're gonna bring in a shape here, we're gonna bring in a circle. That's what I want my mask to be, a circle. If I hold down Shift, and I drag the corner, it's gonna keep that circle. Keep shift pressed. So I want this in the center and probably as big as possible. And then I wanna put a border around it. You'll see the benefit of the border. I'm gonna go ahead and put a border, uh, a solid border, and I'm gonna make it a different color. Maybe I'll make it like a green and then make it quite big. Ooh. Maybe I'll go with a different color. I'm gonna go with the... Uh, I'm gonna go with this blue, but you'll see what happens anyway with that border, yeah? So I've got a different color border. I've got a blue border, the white circle, and a black background. I'm gonna go ahead and save this now. So go press on File, go to Export, and save this as an image. All right, save it as an image, high quality, and press on Save. Uh, you know what, I'm just gonna put it on the desktop, and I'm gonna call it Video Mask. And it's on desktop, I'm gonna go ahead and export that. So now that I've got this Video Mask, I can go back to OBS. And now under the face cam, we're gonna click on filters and we're gonna add a filter effect. We're gonna to go to mask, image, mask, and blend. So click on that, okie dokie. And then where it says browse, we're gonna go ahead and find on our desktop that video mask, that's the one. <gasps> Look at that, it has got rid of the black and I have my circle. And because it had that border, you can see this two-tone border around it as well, which is fantastic, isn't it? So close that out and now look, I've got my image. Of course, in your image, you're not gonna have this big fat camera sticking out. That's just because I'm recording this tutorial. Coming to think of it, I haven't added an audio source. So I need to press on add. Let's go and do the audio input capture. This is gonna be the MacBook mic, okay? So let's go ahead and add the MacBook microphone, the internal microphone. Okay, so now I have audio. Now the reason I've set audio up on the MacBook using the MacBook speakers is because as I annotate and I type, and every time that pencil clicks on the screen, it makes that tapping sound. So I don't wanna pick up audio from this device, I'm gonna pick it up from that device. So it, it isolates that noise. So now I can set this up in such a way like this, I make sure that when I'm addressing my audience, I'm looking at the webcam, and I've put this on a stand, and I've put that on a stand so that it's at eye level, the MacBook's on eye level, and now I can press record, okay, where's my record? I can press my record, and I can start doing my annotated tutorial for my students. Obviously, we can upload this to YouTube or your drive or whatever. So, let's press start recording. Now that is recording, and what's brilliant is because you're screen mirroring your iPad there and you can see it full screen, you can actually read off the questions or your text off of your screen very close to your webcam. So that makes it super duper. So if, as I'm scrolling through, let's, let's say we've got a new question here and it says, hey guys, we're gonna be doing this. The table shows information about the heights in centimeters of tomato plants in Maggie's garden. Go ahead and represent this using a box and a whisker plot. So once you're done with your tutorial and you're finished, go ahead and just stop recording. So now this, this is done, let's go to our desktop. And you can see here, I've got this recording. OBS encodes the video and the audio files a lot easier using the MKV. It's a more efficient codec. Now, if you do wanna convert it to an MP4, cause you wanna send it to a friend or something, or you wanna put it in your drive and you want it as an MP4, very easy to do that. Just go to OBS. Go to File, so once OBS is open, I'm gonna to go to File, and then I'm gonna do a Remux to my recording. So I'm gonna Remux this, bring in your file from wherever it is, it's obviously on my desktop, open, and this is instant, it happens really quick. So if I go ahead and Remux, bang, it's done, 
Remux is done. Yeah. So then I can close this out. And then I do have, let me close this out as well. I do have this file now that will play natively on my MacBook and wherever else you want to share it. Let's hear this out. Fantastic. So if you found that helpful, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. Share this with your colleagues. And uh, as always, I'll catch you in the next one.